Uh, today we're going to go over, so we're going to change the change the scenery as you can see and we're also going to change the, the focus. So we've been working a lot with the arm, doing wrist locks, we've been doing hammer locks, we've been doing reversals and counters uh, with all that stuff. Today let's go over a cravat. So let's uh, switch it up because um, it's not very used very, very often. I know Zack Sabre Jr. is the, like a master of it. But he's a technical guy. He's going to do a lot of different kind of holds like that anyways. So let's just add a little bit more dynamic. Instead of always grabbing the headlock, always grabbing the arm. Because the arm's easy. The arm really is. Basically, the arm is very easy. We're going to do some stuff out of the cravat. So it's basically a head vice is what we're going to go. We're going with leverage. And the idea is your arms are going to be used as a lever. So me and Ethan are going to lock up. I'm going to do first show you how to get into it and then we'll pivot around so you can see the actual application of it Dude, we're not dancing around i wouldn't normally do the spin around thing but just so i could show you guys we're just going to turn it turn our bodies the other way ain't no dance brother we ain't dancing but let's we'll just go over it's a nice nice solid lock out here Boom, me and the kid got a real solid one. Uh, the best way or the easiest way to get into it, the first way you should learn is always push that lead arm away. We want, anytime you're attacking the head, essentially you're gonna take that lead arm away. And it's always very good, it's always a good chore not to just shit on that guy's lockup. Not to just go into like grabbing a guy's head. Push that arm away. He's got you by the collar, eliminate the collar. Okay, so when he comes in, boom, we're gonna lock up, bang, nice solid lock up. We're gonna push that arm away. Now that arm that pushes away is gonna reach underneath and make like a V-neck sweater on. So the idea is we're gonna come up here and make a V. So we're gonna come up, grab that head right here. So as we do, this left arm is gonna go across his cheek and his chin. Basically, all, like right across the jawline is where we wanna go. My hand's on the other side where I made that V-neck sweater. What we're gonna do is Put the back of our hand, of the left hand is gonna be on the back, and grab our fingers and crank. And that's a cravat. That's what we wanna do is like, this is a hold. That's a very extremely painful hold. So the guy that's gonna sell that is gonna sell that accordingly. He's gonna grab the wrist, he's gonna grab the body. He's gonna to try to get out of there. It should be a really, really solid sell, trying to get to those ropes. Don't just sit in a cravat. Don't just sit here and let your head go like that. You, you have a neck, please. Anyways, one more time. Boom, lock up, top arm goes away, we reach through, reach through, grab that chin right here, and wham, that's our cravat, okay? Uh, I like to keep my uh, left foot ahead as well because my balance is good, my right foot is back, and it's kind of like a 45 degree angle on um, the stance, okay? There's, that's one way to get into it. Let's just do another one. We'll make it real difficult. We're just gonna keep it nice and light today. So when me and Ethan lock up, boom, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna keep this this time. The idea is just to keep it a little bit different, I'm gonna shoot that back arm away, the one that's on my elbow, and reach across like I'm gonna go for a wrist lock. So when I have this, I could turn into a wrist lock, but today I'm not. See, as soon as I get here, I'm nice and tight to him. What I'm gonna do is reach back and boom, I got him. It's just one of those, it's a little variation. I like that one, try that one out. There's many, many more. Start with those two.